Insider risk is often defined as user interaction with malicious content from the web, email, or other technologies. And organizations focus a large part of their efforts towards combating this problem. Users, however, are not the only cause of insider risk. Security administrators can also be guilty of putting their organization in the crosshairs of an attacker. With lean IT teams, multiple responsibilities, increasing complexity, and the rapid adoption of technology means that a simple phishing link is potentially amplified through lax security practices. We've identified four personas which may form part of your insider risk. We have a compromised user, an employee who may click on a bad link, open a malicious attachment, or falls for a phishing or impersonation attempt. We have a careless user, they share sensitive information with the wrong people, or potentially forward suspicious looking emails. There's the malicious user. This might be a conscious attack on the organization or a disgruntled ex-employee. There have been instances of users being approached to deliver ransomware with the lure of a percentage of payment. And lastly, we have the overworked admin. Here is the admin who hasn't properly secured a cloud service left a port open on the firewall after testing, or continue to use as an account with admin privileges. All of these personas contribute to the problem in a different way, but combined can have a massive effect. So how do organizations go about reducing the risk? Cybersecurity is supported through foundational elements. And here are some of the easy things to implement. We have multi-factor authentication everywhere. Admins and users should be using this all of the time not just for cloud portals, but also for your security software. Configure MFA wherever you can and make it part of your daily routine. We have layered defenses. Monoculture is a big problem in the cloud collaboration era. Ensure that adequate inspection, security controls, and remediation capabilities exist for any eventuality. There's privilege management. Utilize admin privileges when required, not all of the time. Even an administrator can fall victim to a phishing attack. And then lastly, we have user engagement. Leverage awareness training in conjunction with user engagement. It's vitally important to ensure users' notifications are specific and contextual. Users need to understand why and be aware of the severity. Otherwise, it's just another notification to be ignored. These are the things to consider when aiming to improve your cyber resilience while limiting the possibility of insider risk.